right, all right, all right. Hopefully everyone's doing fantastic. As you can see, we're with Alchemy Trades again. I'm doing a little bit of another tutorial video. I'll keep doing these as we have issues or have uh, people that are needing help. So please never hesitate to reach out on the Discord and let me know if there's something that you're having trouble with or if you went through the process and felt there was a little bit of a hang up that gave you a little bit of a hassle. Uh, happy to know because if you're having that issue, somebody else might be. So for today's, we're going to go through uh, one of the new features where you can install two V4 bots and how you do that, whether you want to use the same wallet on two different chains or whether you want to use uh, two different wallets on uh, the same chain or doesn't matter, two different wallets, period. We'll also go through the Discord and I'll show you uh, where you can get some pairs that we have a pinned uh, Excel spreadsheet where you can get some pairs. I'll also talk about Dexcalibur. We never really went through that too, too much. And if you need to set up your bot again, if it's been trading and you need to reset it, I just want to go through a quick detail on how what you need to do there to make sure nothing's forgotten. And uh, that's kind of it. If there's anything else, I'll throw it in as we go. And for right now, we'll start the download. So like before, Windows... And it'll just automatically download it. So I've just gone to the website, click downloads. When you get this, you'll open up your directory. All right. Once you've opened up your download, and what I did here is I went into my where my install is. You can open up your your download, and all you have to do is drag this guy over. I've already done it on this one, but you can just drag it over. It installs over top. Oh, there we go. It installs over top of it your new version, and then you can take off. Now it happened to be spelled tiny bit differently. So I'm just going to delete that one. But normally if they're named the same, you just move them on over. And as soon as you overwrite it, all your settings are saved for you. So you don't need to reset up your whole, whole bot and everything. If you're using the same wallet, you can move the, the port 500 one over. So you can just drag it right over here and move it and then it'll install it. This is only if you're using the same wallet because it'll use all your settings that are in here. If you'd like, you can also back up. You can create a new folder and just go port uh, alchemy port 5000. Sorry, that's probably going to bother people if it's named differently, but anyways, I'm just doing it quickly. And then you move that guy over. And now when you open this one up, you're going to create another session. You will have to do all your settings again, install your wallet or whatever if you're if you're using a different wallet. Again, as I've said before, it's always a good idea to, to actually create a second MetaMask wallet uh, for all of your bots. I name them depending on what I'm doing. I might I'm probably going to set them up where there'll be an AVAX bot and all this different stuff just to make it easy. And you can even name all your directories in here that whatever works for you. And then other than that, I'm just going to go back and I'll use the one that I've already got set up. more info but anyway so you have to do that every time you get a new one once you've done that it opens up every time for you no problem all right now that you're all installed uh, before we go any further inside here i want to show you guys where you can find some pairs in the discord so i'm going to pull that up for a second all right in the discord if you head over to strategy talk you can actually click on pinned messages and we're going to have access to this lovely spreadsheet that our sheet addition zamster has created all right, once you pull that up, lots of information here. So definitely take a look around. You can see them broken down by chains and what tokens you're looking at. So you can copy and paste these in order to go to uh, have a closer look at them or to copy and paste them into the actual, um, into your bot. And a few details, a little star rating that they've done based on how they feel like it is. Some great notes to kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at and whether it's got low liquidity, high liquidity. Um, quick little note on liquidity. If liquidity is high, uh, which means there's lots of money in the token, any up or down movements are harder to create unless you have more tokens to put in. And ones with low liquidity obviously means they're very, uh, they don't have a lot of money in the, in the protocol or in the token. And if you put 10 bucks in when something's hundred dollars it's going to pump the price very high um, or but if you put 10 bucks into something that has a hundred thousand of liquidity or in turn a million it's going to become harder and harder to move that price point so that's something to keep in mind when you're playing around obviously ones with lower liquidity can be really really cool and create some really great price action but unfortunately in turn you have the risk of the token going and tanking on you very easily as well uh, on top of that, the deck screener links are right here. So for instance, this one here, as we all know it, you can copy link 
And once you open a shelf window, you can paste that in there. And voila. So as you can see, a very nice sideways scrolling chart with some little little candles here, a little wicks, I should say, up and down are all really some neat things to see to help the bot perform really, really well. So this one is one that people would look at and go, this looks good. Uh, when you're setting up your grids, you'll look kind of at highs and lows that you can create. Um, so like if you want to take advantage of things like this, they don't happen as often, but they're there. Then you'd want to set your, your limits kind of up there and then possibly like this one down below. If you want to get a little bit more tighter, which helps you kind of trade in the zone a little bit better, you might even go closer to here to 1.47 and then up here to 1.58 or 1.5 kind of thing. Um, so you can play around with that. There's, there's a lot of fun to be had with it, but it does take some trial and error. Uh, and definitely some people in the Discord can help you make those decisions and look into those things to help find the sweet spot that they're dealing, that they're playing with at this time. So that's kind of a quick idea of that. When um, you do want to get, so let's say you don't have this handy dandy sheet and you found a new coin that you really, really like. Uh, right down here, and deck screener is really, really handy now. So you can go right down here and you'll see the pair. This is useful if you're using version 3.9, uh, but for the version we're using, this right here is pretty handy. So let's find one that I don't already have loaded on there. All right, so I'm going to do nitro and just to show you, because I've already technically got it in here, but I'm going to delete them. So what would happen is if you didn't have this chart, obviously it's easy, you can copy this right now. If you didn't have this chart, you'd pull up the Nitro chart and find it online. Be careful and make sure you get the right one. And you'd copy the token from here, go to Alchemy Trades, paste it in there, Control V, and then the plus sign comes up and you add it. And same thing, you need the pair, so we're gonna put Wmatic. Something to keep in mind here, some of them will be Wmatic, which is Ratmatic. It takes Matic, so you don't have to worry that the W's there you're good to go, it will take your Matic. All right, now that we are all set up and ready to set up our grid, you'll put your trading pair on the left, like the one that you want to uh, trade. On the right, you will put your stable usually, or your token, in this case not, uh, but your token that you're gonna be taking profits in is the important thing here. Uh, when you're picking up this number, do be mindful of which token you're taking. In this case, we're dealing with Matic, which is the uh, token, the primary token that gas is used with. So we're not gonna wanna take all of these tokens and put them into the bot, because we need to save room for gas. Uh, usually uh, a good 10 or 15 Matic kind of thing is probably a good way to go, we'll put 320 in here just to be safe. Our upper range, you're gonna take a look here. So we've pulled kind of back on the chart a little bit. So we're going back a couple of days. So I'm thinking maybe around here. So we'll put 0 0.02 in for our low and our high maybe 0 0.0235. So we'll go back over to our bot. Our upper is going to be 0 0.0235 and our lower is going to be 0 0.02. So pretty tight grade with the way this one's set up, but it's a lower token price, so it makes sense. And we can go up to 21 grids. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're doing that. If we put in 21, for instance, check your profits. You want to be careful that you're not profit being too low per grid. There's lots of different variables here that you have to be careful of. Uh, you're trading $15, so as that gets higher, you're gonna create more gas for your trade, but at the same time, you're gonna have more profit per grid, which is gonna make a difference as well. So let's lower that down a little bit. Uh, just out of curiosity, we can kind of go to eight for a second, just to illustrate. And so as you can see, you're getting up to 50 cents per grid, but you're getting fairly spread out, uh, not horribly spread out, but spread out. Because we've got such a little spread for the dollars and cents of it all, we're not even within that so it's the nice thing is the less trades you do the more profit you can kind of make so let's go maybe in the middle so let's try it with 11 so we got 20 cents now we're dealing with 20 dollars. so let's give that a whirl and you're pretty low on there so it'll be lots of buys and sells and i'm doing a spreadsheet i'm going to try and do some stuff where i'll actually track some of my things so uh, coming up soon i'm going to uh set up a little channel that i'm going to be having uh for myself and what I'll do in there is kind of track my journey as I go. I'm probably going to create three bots with about $250. I may change which bots I'm using, but that'll all be transparent inside the spreadsheet that I'm doing and uh, and go from there. So now we're started up 
There's a couple of things not recording the same on here right now, but they are planning on bringing those things back, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and there's no trades now down here right now for a bit, uh, just because things weren't per totally accurate, so they're fixing them up before they bring that feature back up. Hit on update and see that stuff here. All right, bonus round. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little extra little tidbit here in case you wanted to. So if you install from the actual Discord, so I'll just, uh, if you go into the Discord, there's a V3 bot install. You can actually install uh, multiple ones and use them if you'd like, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can have as many bots you want going, but it's a very different one. So this will just show you how to set that up. So when you click on the bot, it's actually going to bring up more of an old school DOS computer type screen. So you're going to accept by hitting yes. You just type in yes. And then it's mostly ones and twos or numbers where you'll choose based on what you see on the screen. So are we going to restart an old grid? I'm going to do no just to show you how to do it. Uh, I am going to do the same pair, nitro and wrapped. So two. Then you're going to choose, as you can see, which uh, which decks you're going to be on. And in this case, it's going to be quick swap, which is nine for the pair that we're doing in this case. The other thing with this is the token pair contract. So this is a little different when you're over here, uh, when I was showing you the actual uh, decks up here, you notice we took Mat Nitro and Matic. Well, in this case, for this bot, you actually use pair. So in this case, we're going to grab that guy and we're going to bring it over here and you just control V to paste it and hit enter. You can click anywhere on the screen. It's not going to do anything. Uh, you'll just need to enter your things. And again, with this one, be careful. So you don't want to use number one because that's Matic on the left. You want to use this one where Nitro is on the left. So number two in this case. Usually the USD, DC and whatever will be on the right side, but these ones are two volatile pairs, which is why it does it this way. So grid trading is what we're going to do. Number one. Grid trading strategy is best used to buys and sells, so it just gives you a little information. Yes, we're going to continue with grid trading. And now we're going to set our ranges. So as before, we're going to set our upper, which is 0 0.0235, and our lower is 0 0.02. It's going to give you a much larger grid range. Be careful with this. You do not want to use the max. Uh, a lot of people use half uh, or something like that. So in our case, we'll maybe go with that. So we're going to look at something like 20. Let's do 18 and hit enter. It doesn't give you all the detailed breakdown of the pros per gids and all that stuff, so you have to be careful, but uh, we're going to go ahead with that. No stop loss. I'm not going to worry about a stop loss on this one. The token's been trading for a long time, so I feel pretty good. Uh, and so we're going to say no to the stop loss. And then it'll ask you one last question. Do you want to continue with these settings? Yes, we do. And it automatically already checks, so they're both approved already. And away we go. And voila. So it says sell right away because it's actually selling, but it's selling that one side of the token. And now it looks like it's already going into some. So we've already got it realized right there. And look at that, 32 cents already in seconds. Uh, and the token's up in price. So hopefully that'll continue. Um, yeah, so this is a little different. You're going to keep seeing these trades appear on the bottom and it's going to keep adding lines. This is kind of what happens when you have your regular terminal up whoops, um, when you're doing the V4 one. But in this case, it's doing the version 3 one. So, uh, so hopefully that helps out as well in case you want to get any extra bots running. Uh, other than that, that's about it. So if there's any questions, comments, concerns, anything you'd like to see on the next t uh, tutorial video, please let me know. Uh, you can always at me or DM, uh, whatever works. I'd love to hear from you and can definitely try and work that into future videos. I am still looking at doing one for the, uh, doing it on the cloud. So where you have your bots all set up on a cloud server so that if your internet goes down or anything, or so that you don't have to keep your computer running all the time. So I'm definitely looking forward to doing that one up for you. It might be a little while, a week or a bit uh, till I can get that done, unfortunately, for timing. And uh, as usual, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate all your guys' support. This whole Alchemy Trades group has been fantastic. It's really helped uh, get a lot more views out on my videos. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys, and have yourself a wonderful day.